Now, sometimes you can get multiple answers, but not all possible solutions may be correct. You need to check in, which is what we're going to do. So let's check the first solution. Let's replace x with negative 2 and y with 5. So negative 2 plus 5 is equal to 3. So it satisfies the first equation. For the second equation, y is 5, x is negative 2. And we can see that negative 2 squared plus 1 is 5. So the first solution satisfies both equations. Now let's check the second solution. When x is 1 and y is 2, that equals 3. And when y is 2 and x is 1, it works as well. So both solutions are correct because sometimes out of your list of possible solutions, not all of them will be correct. Let's work on another example. Let's say we have this one. y is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 1 and y is equal to x squared minus 4x and then plus 6. Go ahead and solve this system of nonlinear equations. In this case, both equations are nonlinear. Now we could use substitution or we could use elimination. I'm going to use elimination for this example. So I'm going to multiply the second equation by negative 1, which is equivalent to changing all the signs. And then I'm going to add the two equations. The y variables will cancel. x squared will cancel. So I'm going to get 0 is equal to. Then I'm going to have 3x plus 4x, which is 7x. Negative 1 plus negative 6, that's minus 7. Next, I'm going to move the, 7, the negative 7 to the other side. And it's going to become positive 7. So dividing both sides by 7, we get x is equal to 1. And then from this point, we can plug in 1 into any one of the two equations. If we plug it into the first equation, we get 1 squared plus 3 times 1 minus 1. So that's 1 plus 4 minus 1. These cancel, we get y is equal to 4. Actually, I take that back. 3 times 1 is not 4, but it's 3. So we should get y is equal to 3. Thus, the answer is 1 comma 3. Now, since we got this answer from the first equation, we know that it's going to work for the first equation. So let's test it out for the second equation in its original form, which was y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 6. So replacing y with 3 and x with 1, we're going to have 1 minus 4 plus 6. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 6 is 3. So this solution satisfies both equations, which means it's a correct solution. Now let's move on to our next example. Let's say we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 20, and x minus y is equal to negative 2. Feel free to try this one. So what do you recommend that we should do in this problem in order to solve it? In this case, we can't really use elimination, so substitution is the best thing we could do. I'm going to solve for y in this equation. So I'm going to move the negative 2 from the right side to the left side, and it's going to change from negative 2 to positive 2. And I'm going to move negative y to the other side, where it's going to become positive y. So y is equal to x plus 2. Now let's replace y with x plus 2 in the first equation. So we're going to have x squared plus x plus 2 squared is equal to 20. Now we can solve. But first we need to FOIL or expand the binomial. So I'm going to rewrite it as x plus 2 times x plus 2. Thus, we have x squared, and then x times x is also x squared. And this is going to be x times 2, which is 2x, plus 2 times x, that's 2x. 2x plus 2x is 4x. And then finally, 2 times 2 is 4. 
Now I'm going to move the 20 from the right side to the left side. And we can combine terms. So x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. And then we have 4x. And then 4 minus 20 is going to be negative 16. Now notice that the coefficients are all even, which means we could divide it by 2. So dividing this equation by 2, we're going to have x squared plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. So now we have a trinomial that can be factored. So let's find two numbers that multiply to negative 8, but add to the middle coefficient 2. So this is going to be positive 4 and negative 2. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 4 plus negative 2 is positive 2. So in fact, it is going to be x plus 4 times x minus 2. And so we get two possible solutions for x, negative 4 and positive 2. And we have the equation for y. y is 2 more than x. So when x is negative 4, y is going to be negative 4 plus 2 or negative 2. And when x is 2, y is going to be 2 plus 2 or 4. And thus, we're going to have two possible solutions negative 4 comma negative 2 and 2 comma 4. Now let's make sure the two solutions are correct. So let's plug it into the original equation. Starting with the first one we have negative 4 squared plus negative 2 squared. Let's see if that's equal to 20. Negative 4 squared is 16 negative 2 squared is 4, 16 plus 4 is equal to 20, so that's good. And check in the second equation, we have negative 4 minus negative 2. Negative 4 minus negative 2, two negative signs, we can make it positive, negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. So the first solution is correct. Now let's check the second solution. x is 2, y is 4. 2 squared is 4, 4 squared is 16, we know that 4 plus 16 is 20. So that's good. For the second one, x is 2, y is 4. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So both solutions are correct for this example problem. Now let's move on to the next one. Let's say that we have x times y is 12 and 2x plus y. Let's say that's equal to 10. Feel free to try this problem. So once again, I would recommend substitution because we can't use elimination in this example. I'm going to move the 2x to the other side to isolate y. So y is equal to negative 2x plus 10. So let's use this equation to replace y in the first one. So we're going to have x times negative 2x plus 10, and that's going to equal 12. So let's distribute the x. So this is going to be negative 2x squared plus 10x. I'm going to move the 12 to the other side. So we're going to have negative 12. Now all of the coefficients and the constants are all even. So I'm going to divide each of them by negative 2. So I'm going to get this equation, positive x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Now we can factor that expression. So what are two numbers that multiply to 6 but add to negative 5? Well we know that 2 times 3 is 6 but it adds to positive 5 but if we make it negative 2 and negative 3 it's going to add to negative 5 but still multiply to positive 6. So this is going to be x minus 2 times x minus 3 and using the zero product property set in each factor equal to 0 and solve them for x, we get that x is 2 and x is positive 3. Now we can plug those x values into this equation to get y. So for the first one we have negative 2 times 2 plus 10. So that's negative 4 plus 10 which is positive 6. And for the second one we have negative 2 times 3 plus 10. So that's negative 6 plus 10, which is positive 4. 
So the two possible solutions that we have in this problem are 2 comma 6 and 3 comma 4. Now if you want to, you could check these solutions to see if they're correct, but just a quick test. X times Y, 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 4 is 12. And we got the Y values from the rearranged version of this equation. So if you plug it in, you're going to find that these answers are correct. But you could do the work to check it if you want to. Let's move on to the next problem. So in this problem, we're going to have X squared plus Y squared is 45 and x squared minus y squared is negative 27. For this problem, we have two nonlinear equations, but it's in the right format where we could use elimination. So let's add these two equations. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. And we could cancel the y squared. And then 45 plus negative 27, that's the same as 45 minus 27, that's 18. Dividing both sides by 2, we get x squared is 9. And taking the square root of both sides, we get two possible answers, plus 3 and minus 3. So let's write both. So x could equal 3, or it could equal negative 3. Now, let's calculate y. Let's move x squared to the other side. And so y squared is going to be 45 minus x squared. Now replace an x with either 3 or negative 3. It doesn't matter because 3 squared is 9. Negative 3 squared is 9. In both cases, x squared will be 9. 45 minus 9 is 36. And taking the square root of both sides, we get two possible answers for y. Plus or minus 6. So for both of these, it's possible that y is positive 6. But it's also possible that y could be negative 6. Thus, we have four possible answers, 3 comma 6, negative 3 comma 6, positive 3, negative 6, or negative 3, negative 6. And if we plug in any one of these points, it's going to work. Because if you plug in 3 or a negative 3, when you square it, it's going to be 9. And so 9 plus 36 will always be 45. Whether you square negative 6 or positive 6 into y squared, it's going to be positive 36. And check in the other one. 9 minus 36 is always going to be negative 27 regardless if we use 3 or negative 3 for x or 6 or negative 6 for y. So it's going to work for all uh, four possible solutions. So all of these solutions can work in this example problem. So that's basically it. Now you know how to solve a system of nonlinear equations. Thanks for watching.